previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got shit. another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. I think one of the most egregious things, like, I actually like the way tell, uh, Telltale tells stories. But the, one of the worst things about the games, and it's just a petty thing to dislike, but, like, when you make a choice that actually affects your gameplay. Um, and you reach a point where your character's like, oh, I made that choice. There is, like, a moment of pause that you could feel like the game loading what Damn. decision you made. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, it pisses me off that's every time. another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry's just... looking out for his daughter. Hey, he's an old I know racist Lily. Asshole. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Fucking idiot. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Ah! <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. the trap again! Anything, please! Try to get the chain! Please! Get me out of this! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> Lee, it... <laughs> Forget it! We use chain like that at the airport Come space on. to lift orders. We're not something. cutting through that. The tree There's gotta be another way. <sighs> Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg. Oh god, we don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we no, have one. to go sorry. now. There's no other choice. Oh god, I teleported. <laughs> Lee, I can't keep him back. Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. <laughs> oh god, there's so many of them. So fucking nasty, dude. Just chop harder, Lee. Please. Ah. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. <laughs> Dude, you. infinite food glitch. Cut off pieces of other people. Come on, come on, people. we gotta move! Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! 
What happened? Oh, ah, what's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee. She's a vet. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the Walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. They, they adapt we simply the don't have the term of food. walkers in between the two chapters. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Well, no, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. It wasn't about the food, it was about abandoning people. Don't feed Duck, it'll be funny. I'm not gonna mystery Duck just because I hate him. He's a child. I will, however, get special privilege okay. to Clementine Where's at all you? times. I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. There will always be a special privilege given to Clementine. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Uh... Oh, you get the crackers and cheese. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, Who? why don't we get some food? Who? Who are you? At least the kids have what? something to keep them occupied. Did anyone just see Lee just squat on the floor? The fuck was that? Hmm. I wish this had like a um. What's it called? What's 
is that game? The nuclear game where you get in the shelter and, like, you get to see who, who like, is hungry. I want to know who ate the previous night before I feed people. I should feed the, f the fucking child. I don't want to. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Look how fucking stupid he looks! Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! It's called 48 hours or something like that. Um. Lily's been keeping Here. a watch. Here's protein. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Mm. So my choices are Katya, Kenny, Hithead, I don't know. Second shithead, I don't know. Guy who floored me. Or Carly. Uh, I'll give it to Carly. Want something to eat? Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Glad I picked the right choice for her. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I, I am fully immersed. Mm. I wish I could stop thinking about it. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Ah, oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kabja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. 
There's a lot of implied stuff that happened between episode one and episode two. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Kind of, kind of rude. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. <laughs> here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? I was unsure of what to do. It, it did not indicate what I would, should have done. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? <laughs> Okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. The dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If 
y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for it, Lita? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Guns, water, whatever they could get their hands on. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. They always, sure say this. Would see it that way. they always say this, Maybe but that's not right. the case. Listen, you tell people and they immediately I've freak out. On some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival. But we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who Calm raided down. my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it there's all for yourselves. Oh no, there's only two. Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. So I believe if you choose to stay at the motor inn, um, the bandits raid you, and they shoot... The new guy, not not Ben, the other one. I forget Air his name, Mark, I think. St. John, they shoot him in the back, day. and you have to go to the dairy anyway. So, the illusion of choice or something. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. 
This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Ben Mark, is Lee, why don't one of the most shit on characters in this fucking in, series. I, could use some help I have never had a perimeter. problem with Ben. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place ben, is a Ben is just a dude. He's right. like a fella. They think it's like safe. everybody else in this kind of has like the, the main character protagonist in swing over there. Not a big deal, but, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. Like and checking the fence perimeter. He's just like a dude like a decent and makes way to mistakes a that a dude would make. All right, I'll keep my eyes open and you find out what you can from Andy. You can't blame the dude for just like being in the world's shittiest situation. You can blame Duck for being the worst character in the game, though. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Forgot I can sort of sprint. It's more like a, a brisk jog, but I can do it. Could be useful if I can find some boards to cut. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Damn. This bitch can cut a board. I need some rope. The board is good, but I need some rope. 
must have blind bitch syndrome because I didn't see that. Unless it's in here somewhere. This rope is perfect for the sway. I couldn't even see that there was a rope in there, so. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. This shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time. That seemed like a really easy yeah, fix. Why does. was it broken for so long? Now I want to play on this swing. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right. Keep me posted. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Hi. 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 Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. a lot of land. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. Come on, 
I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers These anymore? gates look so weak. Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Like, if, if three raid, like, the same area. <laughs> then, like, it's just gonna fuck up. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If yeah, the fence is much quite food bad. As they say, I, I think so. Like they keep saying, like this is I think great, I see where they're getting in. Looks so flimsy. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. They definitely could have cut off some of their good. land, kept all their Come food. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. Gas. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> I don't know. Little help here, Lee. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Uh, uh, I told you what would happen, you son of a what bitch. the? Get to okay, the seems like he gets shot regardless. Get down. You asshole, Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on, that gate is our only way out! You fuck with us! Now we'll take what we want! Steve! Get closer! You got lucky that time! Give us the food! I got you now! You assholes! What's holding us back now? Get down! Do you really think you can fuck with us? Damn. Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back I to the house. Ah, they're on the Shit, that hurts. Ah, fuck the dragon. This is how people work. Can I lure me to yeah, there's no corpse in the way. What about our arrangement? What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna we have, have to move. Now you're fucked. Lee, get back here. Give us the food. Go away, I can't see ya. Where do you think you're going? Shit! I already got one. They have here. such a good shot on Mark. Another one? How many of those things you did we asshole. push down? We had a deal. Get closer. I see you. I I ripped him in fucking half. You okay? Yeah. Fair. Come on. The gate's right there. Lee falls over again. What? Huh? What happened? God damn it. How many of those things did we push down? 
Welcome, Ring. Can I forever? I see. Why couldn't I toss him into the fence? You okay? Yeah, barely. Come on, the gate's right there. Did you really think you were fucking us? Now there you are, let's wrap it up! Can I lure me to the open? They're getting away! Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! Yeah, they have like an opening. That isn't secured at all. came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit! Are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. I Where's too Ben and Carly? Have Since charisma Carly and Ben pouring ate some out of, of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. I do. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. I yeah. know. I am very intimately aware, I think, of the first three chapters. Four and five are a little muddled. Seasons two and three, I'm not going to know anything about. For the most part. I think I watched all of two, but that I don't remember Dick from it. Fence electrified. Get the fuck, Doc! Get him off the swing! Get him off! Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Yes! Sure, happy to Get push you on the Get the fuck off the swing, Doc. Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck, let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Yeah, lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. 
Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day. Things have got You know, to after 13 more. seasons of the TV it. show, things have still looked yeah, bad. Me too. But maybe. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Ten to twelve years, and it still looks like dog shit. There's still been no like progress made. Other, oh, I think there's some progress if within a rebuilding society, but house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. I don't know enough about the show to make definitive statements, but I know there's been like little societies that form. So there's got to be some areas of society left. I don't give a shit about talking to them. Lily's okay, but holy fuck, I hate dealing with her dead. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got You're gonna start a war there, with those words, we Kenny? We told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. I like Nobody's both, so. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? True, Sack. True. Project Zomboid. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. anything not yet uh it's halo 3 infection i know it's around here it's gotta be close here oh shit you found it See anybody? Looks empty. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tan.
camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Hope you like some goob. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Nothing but fumes. Shit. I can still get high off that. I mean, uh, I would never. Just water. Nothing. Empty. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. Oh, I see you good. handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Teaching someone how to hold a gun is not a leadership thing. I don't watch Lily Peach you because I'm not a psycho. I'm joking. I like her content, but I don't watch it. Your guns down. I ain't going back. If you tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. You steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I faked them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. 
something into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. if it's implied that that's supposed to be Clementine's mom or not. I don't think it is. It might be. I don't remember. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. Oh, yeah. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. They gotta go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Could be a woman. Dinner will be ready before you know it. Lost too much. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. This game does a really good job of showing you just like the worst of humanity and how bad it can get. It's a small toolbox. Multi-tool. That should be handy. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I'm just gonna steal from you real quick. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. 
She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the Motor Inn, where we at least know what to expect. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? When this Lee He's losing the it, giant Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. Soon. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I don't, I don't, you can't really say that humanity of the true monsters in this, even though they are a, a problem. The true, the true uh, monster is uh, the monsters running around killing everybody. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. The true yeah. monsters are and the, we don't the people. Need you poking your nose where it don't belong and, and not the zombies. Thrown out in our asses. Logan, you'll know when I get the giant crusher. You can't miss it. It's, it's kind of in a, a weird spot, but you know, you have to go out of the way. Go to this little village. This windmill village. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. True, friends. True. We're the people that use Patrick the bathroom on the have floor. A baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> Fucking love Clementine. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! This, you said you would! This was the first game this, I ever watched. Did you give your hat to that, anyone? Uh, no. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? This is the first game no. I played that gave Why? me like fatherly instincts. It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Clementine's okay, so fucking adorable, dude. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clint. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Ah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yeah, they're yep. not ominous at all. Any loot? Any loot? Any loot getters? Any loot? Any loot over here? Any loot? Why'd the music stop? I wanna play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. The music stops because the boss was approaching me from behind, apparently. Empty. I don't know if there's actually anything in these stalls, but I'm gonna keep checking all of them. You never know. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. So you're not gonna point out the IV bags?
Lee, you blind bitch. It's a feeding trough. Okay. Do you know it's a feeding trough? Bro, firewood! Just some oh. fence posts. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. You're urban. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I managed Romance. just fine. Plus, I had my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. I think I have to do something with the generator. I don't remember, though. <clears throat> Piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Mm. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. exactly what to do. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. 
I will say, uh, Logan, now that you have seen this game, you're going to hear Lee's voice in everything and know him only as Lee Everett. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. You really like that girl. What's not to like? Not much, I guess. Exactly. You're gonna know it. Lee's voice go actor is only then. Lee from now It'll on. It'll be a good one. Okay, Brad. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. He sure is. You've been getting along with Larry. <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you Why know? Why would you lock odds and ends in a back room? How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Ivan, I get it. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. I think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. If Lee was the voice in my head, I would be very pleased. Fuck, I don't remember how to distract him. Maybe I gotta talk to him, I don't remember. They're storing gasoline all over the property. When was the last time you heard Todd Howard's voice? Dude's last public appearance was like 2017. Yeah, me too, Ivan. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Fuck. Tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? I can turn them off. Maybe there's something else I can do. Hold on. Knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Ah, oh, there we go. There you go. Ow, damn it. 
Damn it. Thing is moving fast. Power switch. Power switch. Power switch. Power switch. Power switch. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, dog. Oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this will take forever. Yeah, I don't look ominous just lingering in the background. After the thing through a damn belt. Mom! Dad! Dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey. Let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, Fucking come along, duck. honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Mm, screws holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Mm, screws holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. Well, they, they, he's, not, he's not the one who opened the door. They, they're the ones who opened the door to get to the food. I like how he's not even picking up the fucking screws on the floor, so he's going to lose them. Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. us, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you, you can worry do what? about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Squeakiest medicine cabinet, too. Gauze pads. I could use a shave. Some kind of lotion. like eight steps like this in my house. Do they need 
so much morphine for? Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Musty as hell. Cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. Is that blood? Where the hell is Mark? Thought Brenda said he was up here resting. some first aid recently. Huh, where is that cord going? Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. What's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? That's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? to continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. 
Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck? your guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? Let go of her, you son of a bitch! of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. He can't Don't do be. anything to please that guy. Okay. You bring him to the fucking farm with food and he screams at you. You're, you're worse than the walker. Dad, please. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! Please settle down. Oh, I'll rip your goddamn heads off. They got caught I you in duck, Lee. Them. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. Come on. Try yourself. Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No such luck. There's more of us on the way. Let us out now. Sometimes you just gotta let the bull ring climb, climb up. Not gonna help. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. They're not gonna open the door. You, you think a fucking <sighs> apocalypse gives you the right? I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh, Easy! Saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. You gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. I really Come don't on. remember. Wake up. I'm Wake sorry, up. Clementine. Well. Come You're right, Kenny. Let's 
get this you over. Fucking with. monsters! Both of you! I don't wanna see! I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! no. I'm pretty sure you can't say that. But do Logan. That. No! No, no, no! Let go of me! No! Please. Here's the giant crusher. dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. <laughs> I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Thank you, Frost. Like what? I remember that being the case. How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. And the only thing that does is make Lily not hate you. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. Larry would have wanted- Fuck you! You think he wanted this? Of course not. You don't know what he wanted. You never knew him. You never gave him a chance. Maybe not. Maybe maybe I should have tried hard. But I know he loved you. He'd want you to get out of here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Frost, I, I I remember. I think I remember like all the best decisions unit. to make. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. The rest of the game not to be painful. I don't know, Lee. It's, uh, it seems sense. like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else. I'm we telling can you, use. like Doug I've saving got a him. Rock. Uh, Thank, rock won't help. Thank you, Clementine. A coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. Yeah, like saving Doug. Doug is a miserable man throughout the entirety of the rest of the game, and he always—I think he like constantly talks about fucking how you could have saved uh, that way. Carly instead. Like, there's certain decisions you can make in which they literally do affect the game by making you have to deal with more annoyed survivors. Did you have a coin? Oh, he had sixty cents. Remember? Get away. I just need to. I told you to get the fuck away. Lily, he has he has sixty he has sixty cents. I'm broke. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture! I don't need it for the money! Two quarters and a dime. All right, I didn't need to take all of his change, though. I could have, I could have left a, a. Okay. Just gotta remember. 
remove these screws and get this unit off. You got it? Yeah. One more should do it. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. I got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. With this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. The news perfect for hunting cattle. Oh god, what's wrong with these people? Jesus, is this is where they butcher people. Yeah. They were the one that put the bear bear traps out there. I get to pick my weapon. I think a sickle would do a little more work than a cattle prod. A cattle prod would be annoying. So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place like you said. Well, quit sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick which one to keep in my house. Not the kid. Not enough meat on the tray. <laughs> oh, I know, neighbor. This is hey, my favorite keep your too. Eye on. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Hey, tell me something. Sick fucker thinks this is a game. We'll take him out together. How? He doesn't know we're out. He's got to walk past us to get to the locker. We can take him out when his back is to us. See what he's doing now.
The double sickle. Where's my family, asshole? You can't have them. We need the vet. No! Cat! Lee, come on! Just go. I won't be far behind. You see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. Mark never volunteered to be food. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fucking... Ah! This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you. I'm not gonna kill him. Fuck you. I dude. can't kill more you people. Can't my dad, but you leave this piece of shit alive. <laughs> I can't kill more people in front of Clementine. Oh God! Don't hurt him. That's Katja. Please, no. Lily, please. Keep her safe. We were coming up to the house. They attacked us. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit. How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. That doesn't answer the question. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kitty. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Yeah, take it out in the don't rain. Stick close. And Lee, be careful. In fact, hold it out the entire time. Oh, no. I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Set her down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? That is me. Oh, <laughs> Was my impression that bad? Come here. Let me go. Lee, hit back. Don't come in. Go, Brenda! Please! Please, don't you take another step! Brenda, come on now, you know you don't want to do this! Just go away and leave us be! I figured maybe I waited the right amount of time. She stopped moving for it so long.
60 cents if you want some money. Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! Let her go, Brenda. Please, listen to him. This any worse. Just stop. Ah! 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 They took Doug. Where's Teddy? I said, don't move, asshole. Don't you fucking hurt him. Oh my god. Let him go, goddammit. Ah! That ain't gonna happen. Andy. Don't Smart with the clutch save. <sighs> Andy! Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done! Calm down. Calm down? What for, huh? All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline! You literally ate one of our people. Get up! Get the fuck up! Someone do something to help me? Am I supposed to let him get me? <laughs> what? Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dana Mama get out here, you, you all fucked! <laughs> They're not coming. What do you mean? Lee? What the fuck do you mean? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee!
Get back here and finish this, Lee! Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! Lee! Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah. And Clementine almost ate some. But? I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. Hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. Whoa. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. That was a shitty bit, I'm what sorry. Do you think? I'm sorry. We fucked up. We fucked up real good. You can't say that, man. The rest of us are alive, aren't we? Yeah, I know. I've got your back. We made the right choice, but what the hell happens now? Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready. I've changed my mind. I want you to come with us when we leave. Yeah? Hell yeah. We're a team, man, me and you. By taking out Larry before he turned, you saved all of us in that meat locker. And that saved my family, too. Yeah, I'd say you earned it. Come on, Clementine. <laughs> Stay close. Please? Are those bad people dead? We didn't kill them, so I don't know. They might have been able to get away yeah, from Kenny's us. Kenny's not that sus. But I'm sure they He's won't really be coming not. after us. He, he makes decisions That's based good. on what would help his family. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Oh shit, I forgot about this fucking decision, man. Hello? This is a fucking hard one. I Oh man. Oh man. Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. 
not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Ah! Oh! Ah! I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it. I'm pretty sure. Fuck, I don't know, man. I don't remember what affects this. I'm pretty sure if you do take this, the people come back. But I don't remember. Stop being evil, sleeper. You pick every evil choice. You're an evil dictator. I get it. You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this. Actually, stuff. you all did eat some human meat that I didn't. We've done enough damage already. What do you mean by that? Come on, Kenny. Between this and the meat locker, you know what it means. Fine. Suit yourself. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay. What have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Ben was against fucking taking it! Got it? No, he's like, Whoa! I got it. My fall from Kroger! Here. Could probably fit Clementine. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Shit. Nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. They take the we shit anyway. To back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. 
Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases, but it's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's Owned. Not doing so good, huh? But we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Look at all these 50 percenters, dude. Although I wasn't, I apparently I was a small number of people who chopped his leg off. I didn't think there was another option. Um, I wouldn't have shot Jolene. Um, I fifty percent exactly with killing Larry, about sixty-two percent with killing uh, or not killing the brothers, and fifty percent on not stealing. That's fucking crazy. That after all these years. They're pretty much equal. 